Hey, my name is Raldo and I work as a human resources consultant. In this video I want to show you a way I use Trello to get my all of my consulting projects organized. And when I say organized, I mean three things. First, uh, to know what is the status of my leads and opportunities, opportunities to know uh, what are the customers I'll need to contact, what are the offers I'll need to follow up and so on. Uh, second, uh, I only to know what are my active projects and which projects have a higher priority than others. And third, it's about knowing what are my, my projects that I've put on hold and maybe also to see uh, a history of my closed projects. Okay, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to get to. Let's see how we can use Trello to do this. If you're not familiar with Trello, let me explain a bit. So Trello is a project management app and it revolves around uh, three concepts. The first one is a board and this, the whole thing is uh, it's a single board and you can associate it with a physical board that you stick on the wall. The second one is the list. Uh, this is a list and on each list we can have multiple cards. And of course, we can have as many lists uh, that we need. Uh, the cool thing about Trello is that it allows us to easily move cards between lists and thus showing progress. And this is the idea uh, behind my, my way to organize my consulting projects. Okay, let's start with the clean board. The first list I want to create is a list of leads. I assume that you know what these are. These are possible projects that I may be able to close if I negotiate, if I find out more about these projects. And here I'm gonna write I just want to put some projects here. Project one, project two and project three. Okay. But these are just ideas that there are some clients that need my services and these are the things that I may do for them. Uh, but as we move on, there are some leads that become qualified and, and there are some leads that are not. So the second board I want to create is the, the qualified leads board. Okay, and some projects will jump to this list, let's say maybe faster than others. And with some uh, clients, I may also end up making an offer. And this is why I create this, this list. Let's create more projects. And as I move on, projects move from left to right some of them become qualified and some of them move into the offer stage. But as I make the offer, some of the people will accept my offer and some not. And this is why I'm going to create these two lists. First one is with the last project, so I have a tracking on what is the number of project I, projects I've lost in negotiation? Maybe my, my offer wasn't good enough, or maybe it was the price was too big or too small or whatever. And I also want to have a tracking on my one project. And you can see that using Trello, I can easily work with prior priorities. Maybe project five is the most important. Maybe project three is the le least important. Okay, and as I use this system, I just I keep uh, adding leads here in the left. I move them to the right, uh, the ones that are qualified. Try to get to the offer stage, uh, see which one I lost, which one I won, and then to have a clear overview or what of my my active projects because these closed one basically are my active projects. To see which is the most important, what are the ones that I need to focus on. Besides this, we can also have projects that are maybe on hold. For example, project five, for some reason, we decided to keep it on hold for a few months. And it's useful to have also this list 
to know maybe I, I need to come back to this project after a few months and I also have a projects archive uh, list because for example project one maybe is over it's closed I don't need to focus on it I don't need to work on it so I move it to the archive I have a history in, on of all the projects I worked on and this may be useful maybe for sales or whatever reasons so this is my my system it starts with leads qualified leads offer what I lost what I won project on hold project archive and this basically is for me like a map a high level map on my project my sales uh, part my priorities uh, between one project of course that this is not a universal solution because in your case maybe your process is a little bit different but with Trello the good thing is that we ca you can use what uh, structure you want I mean Trello doesn't tell you you should use qualified leads as a list maybe from your point of view this list should be gone altogether and you need to have only leads and offer it's up to you I've been using this system for a week now and I'm really excited to, to see how it works okay so a few things I forgot to mention uh, these uh, cards are more than just a label a text label if you click on them you can see that we have descriptions here we have activity on what was changed we can add other people we can add labels something like okay this is red or whatever uh, we can also add a list of tasks okay due date attachment and other things this can be useful because it can offer us an overview on on this project and the whole thing about Trello is that it's very good uh, in collaboration I can share this board with other people and other people can also move, move the the cards here from uh, left to right so this is a good option also for small teams okay this was it thanks for watching hope it was useful if so give me a like if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel